What's up guys? So today we're gonna be doing something a little different. Back to some more like paint correction slash detailing kind of stuff. So we're gonna bring the ship box in right in the middle and we are gonna try to fix up some of this nastiness on the hood. Dang man. Let's see where we go. If we jack it up, you know, it's okay because the hood's already like pretty shitty anyway. But we did some up here. I think I mentioned it in another video just by hand. So we'll see how it comes out. See if we can't get rid of some of that. And then we're also going to be doing the roof. So we're just going to kind of wipe this off with some rags and some water. And then we're going to get the buffer out and do some compound and see where we go. Should work out pretty good. If it comes out really good, we're going to probably get some more compound and try to get out some of this other stuff on the actual doors and stuff like that where the paint's starting to get kind of bad. So today, this is what we're gonna be using. We're gonna move all the way from the extreme compound and move to the hybrid compound, go to the cutting polish, then the final polish. If we have anything in between after this, we're gonna be using this VSS scratch and swirl remover and to lube our pad up a little bit this is literally just water. Used to be some synthetic lubricant for clay barring. As always, we're using Chemical Guys stuff. So if you guys are interested, check out the link in the description below. Use our link to buy stuff, helps the channel out a lot. And grab y'all some stuff. A lot of it sells for MSRP on there. So we got some GoPro set up on the, on the old car here. Get a couple different angles. We're just going to clean this up a little bit. Sucks that the lighting isn't like really that great. Even though we get this giant LED thing. I mean, that's okay. We're just going to get going. I can see it pretty well. Because we need to get rid of like, you can see like all this nasty crap right here. Right here. You can see I'm just, and that's like not, half of that's not even dirt. So we're going to get going. Y'all enjoy the show. see that it's obviously doing something because there's a lot less right here probably need a couple more passes with this compound <laughs> assure you that since we've gone to the last step we're doing about three to four actual application passes and cleaning it off in between so we're on the last step for the final polish with the soft soft pad and I don't know if you can tell reflection no reflection we should be able to get this thing looking fantastic so 
I'm I'm really impressed with the way these products are are working. If I did like three or four more passes up here, I could probably get it to be like really good. You can still see some streaks and some orange peel maybe a little bit right here, but it's super smooth. It's gotten almost all of it. Um I'm definitely going to pick up the set of these big bottles so that way we can do this again in a few months and just really really get it looking good if i can find a newer hood that would be even better but for now this is going to do the job perfectly so we're going to finish up that little section over here and then we're going to get to the roof guys so we are completely done I haven't picked the camera up in a while just because I was really 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 trying to just knock this shit out and get it done with because I had to do about three to four passes on every panel on the car I did the trunk and well, I did the hatch separate I did this back quarter that back quarter that door that door fender fender hood all separate but you can see how much better it is. There's still some blemishes, like right here's a little bit. Can't really see it in the GoPro. But man, car's nice and smooth. We just washed it with the Chemical Guys Hydro Suds Ceramic Car Wash Soap. And it scrubbed it all nice and clean. Oops, sorry, it's probably like my chest. It is a thousand times better than it was before, especially the hood. The hood is so nice, right? Look at the reflection on this thing. Woo! Remember over here, you see the light now. Before, there was no light. I mean, it literally like reflects in every part of the car. All right, so the next step in our whole plan today, now that we got the car nice and clean, and shiny looking, well, shiny as it's gonna look. We're gonna be using the Hydro Charge Ceramic Coating. Once it keep, continues to dry a little bit, and I gotta buff off a few spots that it might have a water run, just cause you know, the mirror's gonna drip and stuff. But overall, I'm very, very happy. We used probably about half of each of these compounds. The extreme compounds like gone. So I'm definitely gonna pick me up probably some 16 ounce bottles of these. And then if we got any more issues, we just use the scratch and swirl remover and the buffer. So today that's all we used right there. If you guys are interested in these again, go check out the link in the description and pick you guys up a sample pack. I was able to do this entire Mark IV GTI with just the sample pack. And that includes all four steps. 
So I think we're going to end the video here, guys. I had a long, long day. I started this at about, it is 4.40 right now, p.m. I started this at probably 10 or 11 o'clock this morning. So this was a very, very long process, but it was so worth it, as you guys can see. The car just looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, a thousand times better than it did before. Now you can really see all the dents, though. That kind of sucks. But I think we're going to end the video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Come back for another episode. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe. We have a lot of stuff coming for this car. But we will see you guys next video.